Mm -hmm. Let's talk about putting a holiday spin on breakfast yeah, or the holidays. A nice warm brunch. That's the, the, <laughs> the perfect uh, lead-in, right? <laughs> exactly. Our friend Elwyn Greenwald from Elwyn and Company in Berkeley is here. It smells amazing. What are we making today? We are going to do holiday ricotta pancakes. Ooh. So we're going to do them two ways. Okay. Um, we're going to do a, one that has maybe Eastern European more, uh, raisins, apples, cinnamon. Mm -hmm. And we'll do another one uh, with more like an Italian Florentine. Okay. So whatever you celebrate, if you celebrate this color or you celebrate that color, <laughs> <laughs> you can have however you want with a basic a ricotta recipe. Okay. So you've got ricotta cheese mm -hmm. and eggs and a little sugar. We'll do one, and then we'll know you can do the same thing. Now, you can use a little bit of flour, okay. but even better is when you have amaretti cookies mm -hmm. left over from that can before, grind them up and use amaretto cookies to fill the base. I really? Mean, it's re for either one. That's it interesting. It has almond flavor. It has, mm -hmm. it has a perfect, perfect flavor for either one. So in one of these, we'll do them side by side. We have some grated apples. And a little lemon to go in there, and raisins. I and love that it's different. I always eat like just oh. regular buttermilk pancakes, but oh, this is so much amazing. better. These are amazing. I mean, they're not too sweet, mm -hmm. but you've got the ingredients to give them the flavor. And there's texture. There's you know, there's all kinds of different things. And then we have that one, and then we have the one with. I'll just throw in a few, and then we'll make one. What's that? This is candied orange zest. Okay. And. Pure and natural, no food coloring in there. Ha ha, candied fruit. But you know it's Christmas. <laughs> you got to put a little bit, and then well, some chocolate Well, I'm loving chokes. the colors. Obviously, you know, that's what makes it look nice. Right. I mean, a little bit, you know. And then mix this together with the amaretti cookies. Mm -hmm. And this one has pecans. And I'm just going to show you very quickly to do the zest of an orange. Okay. You know, either one will get the, the zest. Just the just the outermost color. See, just like that, it mm -hmm. gives you the color, and it'll really perk up the flavor. Okay, I hear that oil heating up, and yes. I can see the time going by. <laughs> so we'll mix up one of these. And we've got all kinds of delicious sauces, too. But I want to first talk about um, Elwin and Company mm -hmm. on uh, the uh, west side of Coolidge and Berkeley. Oh, it's nice and hot. Yes. Gift baskets, gift baskets. We ship them. We make them fresh every day. Mm -hmm. We have piles of Christmas cookies, cookies piled I up know, everywhere. You can this. come for the homemade uh, Christmas cookies that we make. Mm -hmm. And then that's nice and hot now you can yes. see. So either one. A little one, nervous near the hot oil. <laughs> oh, stand back. I want you to get all. And then it's, it's hot. Oh, yes. It's nice and hot. Wait, right they. Uh, good thing I did stand back. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to do one of that flavor. And where did you get this idea from to kind of uh, doctor up these like pancakes? You know what? For some reason, my checkbook is a mess. <laughs> but ideas come like crazy. So I don't know how to answer it. I, I don't know. <laughs> I've seen probably the recipe for Florentine cookies. You let them sit. I'm sorry, just, uh -huh. you know, just when they start, a few little holes, then okay. you know you want to flip them over. Can you make like savory uh, versions of oh these? Oh my God, yes, yes. You know what these are the most similar to that you asked is, um, oh, I can't think of what they would be. Well, latkes for the, you know, potato latkes. And then, oh, see, ah, flip them over. Okay. They're a little bit golden. Now you lower it. Uh-huh. And then we sprinkle just a little bit of this for the color, and then they'll sink in, okay? And a few little raisins on those, and then lower the heat. And we're going to put it on this side to lower it. <laughs> away from me. Away from great. <laughs> and when you flip them over and you put them on the right plates, uh -huh. this is what we get. This is what we get. Final product. Can I get a shot of this? Oh, yes. This one, which one is this one? This one is the Florentine okay. with the candied fruit. This is the apple raisin. Okay. So let's put caramel. Do you want to slop it on? Sure. Oh, I'll there do you it. go. Yes. Slop it on there. Oh, slop it on. Ah! There you go. <laughs> This is Glob great. Oh, my goodness. So this is great when you have guests and they're oh. waking up Christmas morning. You get Christmas-themed oh food, yes. make it a little bit different. Some color. So while one, you're putting that on there, let me just put us some information. Elwin and Company is on Coolidge in Berkeley. Oh, Hours so are right there on your screen. 
And thank you so much for joining us. You sprinkle all that powdered sugar. Some raspberries. Some raspberries on there as well. Yeah, it's a nice uh, brunch, a nice Christmas breakfast. New Year. Okay. I didn't get any on you. No, and you didn't. Good. I'm good. All right. Thank you so much for joining oh, us this morning. Happy holidays thank to you. you. Thank you. Can I get a bite? We're oh my go. God, yes. We're gonna toss the break. I'm gonna have a little bite. Get one with all the sauce. All the sauce. Are you doing it?